very respected colleagues, Dino Milai, Kogi West. Mr. President, sitting as chair, my colleagues, I want to start by congratulating my brother and friend. And I make bold to say one of the very few exceptional square pegs in square holes nominee from Mr. President. Who also, I congratulate as one of the nominees without EFCC or corruption baggage. <laughs> Mr. Nominee, I, I, Distinguished colleagues, security clearance, and if anyone has any EFCC case, the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria provides for innocence until proven guilty. So none of our nominees is a convicted person. You can go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Investigation, and that is what I'm saying. Mr. Nomini, I want to say without fear or favor that I quite appreciate your response on the issue of pipeline um, vandalization. I wanted to ask you, but I'm very satisfied with your response, and especially with the international best practices that you are acquainted with, hoping that that will be adopted if you become uh, the Minister of Petroleum. And we pray the Almighty God that God will touch the President and anoint the President to make you a substantive minister. Mr. Nomini, the issue of crude oil production, we have a problem with knowing exactly what is our crude oil production volume per day. And this has been shrouded in a lot of secrecy and is one of the reasons responsible for major corruption in this uh, country. As minister and someone that we know who behaves with every sincerity of purpose of heart and commitment, how will you use technology like it is used in Venezuela, in Saudi Arabia, in Iran, and even in our neighboring Ghana? Technology is used to determine the volume of production per day. What will you do if, by the grace of God, you become the Minister of Petroleum to check and give Nigeria first-hand information of what the volume of our production, crude oil production per day is? And lastly, the question has been asked by my brother, Matthew Rogede, but I want to emphasize that apart from procurement in this country, the greatest corruption in Nigeria is in the oil sector. And the larger percentage of that comes from the subsidy regime. I want to buttress and elucidate that we will want you to prefer what is your understanding of the subsidy regime and what is your position on subsidy. Thank you. <laughs> 